So I've, I've been getting feedback that it's hard to register for the Sunday 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock mass, okay? In fact, like, you know, when the registration would open at 12, and within five minutes, all registrations is filled up, okay? Okay, I'm going to propose something to change it, to make it easier for everyone, okay? We're just going to start selling tickets, okay? For those who want to sit in front, we're going to sell the ticket for 50 bucks. Those at the back, 30 bucks. Now, for those who couldn't afford 50 and 30, the balcony, 10 bucks. All proceeds will go to the priest. Okay, and you, you, see, you see me starting, uh, you know, uh, driving a Beamer. And then my trailer, my small trailer, now a 20-foot trailer. I'm sure you're going I, I, to, now you're laughing, but, but if that's a reality, I'm sure you'll be upset, right? That, that the priest here at St. Mary's is making this a business now. And that's what's happening in Jesus' time. The temple, the money changers, the, 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 the merchants there, and also the priests, they're in connivance. They're making this uh, a, a, like a, a money-making machine. That's why Jesus was so upset and he said, my he said, it is written, my house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. It says here, the Lord was teaching there in the temple every day. And I'm sure those uh, merchants were trying to set up their, their tables every day also. And the Lord kept on you know, asking them to go away. And because of that, they're losing their business. And because of that, also, he says here, the chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people kept looking for a way to kill him. You know, they, these uh, chief priests, scribes, leaders, merchants, they were supposed to keep this temple, you know, as a worship, a place of worship. But what did they do? They make this temple as a place of social standing, a place you know, for profit and politics. That's why Jesus was so upset. He was full of zeal for the Father's house. The reason why the chief priests, scribes, and the leaders of the people uh, couldn't kill Jesus, but because they saw the people were spellbound as they listened to Jesus. You could see the desire of the people for worship, the desire of the people to hear the Word of God. And that's what the temple is. The temple is a place of sanctification. The temple is a place of a portal to heaven. The temple is a space for communion with God and with our brothers and sisters. And that's not happening anymore. In, in, the, in the time of Jesus, the temple is the center. It's the center of worship. Everything in their lives, everything revolves around that. Work, job, families, whatever, leisure, recreation, it revolves around worshiping God. And for us, we, we, you know, we can't go to the temple in Jerusalem. It's, it's destroyed already. But we still have that temple within us. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, it says there, or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you? Our body should be a place of worship. We should be worshiping God. In, in uh, John chapter 4, when Jesus was speaking to the Samaritan woman, said, there will come a time wherein you will worship God in spirit and in truth. That's the proper order. You know, I, I would like to quote Father Mark. He's always saying, the world has gone bonkers. Why? It's because we're not doing what we're created to do. If you're not worshiping God, you're worshiping others or even yourself. What are we worshiping right now? What are, what, what are the people worshiping right now? The God of wealth, the God of power, okay? The God of prestige, even the God of health. Health has become a God right now that we should sacrifice everything for the God of health. I'm not saying health is bad, of course, but if it, it becomes the God right now, 
there's something wrong. That's why don't be surprised if the world has gone bonkers. That, that's why we need to go back. We need to go back in worshiping the Lord. He is God. We are not. If we want to make this world orderly again, we need to go back. That's why we have to ask ourselves, are there anything that is, obs that is an obstacle for us to worship God? Maybe for us, it's worry. It's, it's attachment. Maybe it's an addiction. We need to remove those obstacles so that we would worship God. Thank you.